Hey there, it's Tracy Lynn from DeclutteringMinutes.com, back with another Clutter Quick Tip. Okay, I get a lot of questions about what I mean when I talk about gradual decluttering. And that is something that I wanted to talk to you about today. So gradual decluttering is a really easy way to remove clutter from your home without dedicating an entire time block to work on an area. It allows you to declutter the entire home all at once. And that way you don't have to roll up your sleeves and work for four, five, six hours or a whole weekend straight trying to clean out the clutter in your home. Now this method does not work for everyone, but it is another approach to decluttering your home that I want you to consider. And it's something that you can do on the back end while you're waiting or in between big decluttering projects. All right. So let's talk about what gradual decluttering is. It is basically a habit or a chore or a task that you use every single day in every single room when you're in it. And it allows you to pull things out as you're just doing your normal routine. So I like to use bags for this. These plastic shopping bags that we get all the time when we're at the store that you really can't recycle. And um, collecting them for years and years is not an option either because it ends up being clutter, right? And there's no way to get rid of them. So the best thing that you can do is take these shopping bags and they have these handles on them like this, right? And you are going to hang these on the doorknob of every single area that needs a bit of decluttering. Now, if it doesn't hang very well because it's empty at first, you can make it a smaller home with a twist, a smaller hole by using a twist tie or knotting it and making the hole a little bit small, smaller. This also helps if you want to use a hook on your wall instead of a handle. This will allow you to make the opening smaller so it will fit on just about any doorknob, hook, or handle in your home. So what you do is, as you're going about your day, I want you to be in a constant state of cleaning out. Now remember the three question rule that we always talk about for decluttering our things. If I use it, need it, or love it, then I may keep it. So what we're doing is getting rid of everything else so only the items that are left in a space or things that you use, need, or love. Okay, so this allows you to differentiate anything else and helps you to put it into the bag. So let's talk about gradual decluttering and see it in action. The closet is the easiest place to do this. I would hang more than one bag, especially if you have not done your closet as of yet. Your goal every single time you're in a space where you see a bag is to put at least one item inside of it every single time you're in that area. If you're really looking to make a big um, dent in your clutter, then you want to do five items every single time you're in an area. But if not, start out with one and see how it goes from there. So let's say you're in the closet and you're getting dressed for the day. You're grabbing a shirt to put on. And while you're in there, you see wire hangers that you don't want to have anymore that are all tangled up in the corner. There's no clothes on them. You're not using them. That is an easy thing to get out of the closet and put inside of your bag. Let's say you, um, you're putting on a pair of shoes. And while you're down there putting on shoes, you see a couple totes that you haven't used in years. I mean, they've been down there for so long, they have a layer of dust on them. Go ahead, grab them, put them inside of your bag. Maybe you have a bag hanging on your dresser and you're putting on socks for the day. And while you're in there, you find a whole bunch of random socks that don't have a partner. Go ahead and put them in the bag. Maybe you have a bag hanging in the kitchen and you're cooking dinner. And while you're in there grabbing a measuring cup, you see that you have this huge collection of measuring cups and you really don't need that many. So go ahead and grab yourself a few of them that you no longer need and put them inside of the bag. Maybe you have a bag in the bathroom and you're putting on your makeup and you find old makeup that really needs to be replaced. Go ahead, pull that out, put it inside of the bag. When you do this in every um, area of the home, you are going to clean out the clutter without even realizing you're doing it. This is the exact process 
that I used in my own home. And it helped me and still helps me because I'm still doing it today to keep my house free from clutter. I still have stuff in my house, but I don't have more stuff than I need. The main areas where I keep a bag all the time are in my closet, in my bathroom, and in my kitchen. Those are the three big spaces that can easily get recluttered if we're not keeping an eye on things. So go ahead and try it. Hang a bag in three of your high clutter hotspots and make it a goal every single time you're in there to fill those bags with something. Another thing that I want to remind you to do, as you fill a bag with clutter, once it's full, I want you to tie it shut and walk it all the way to the trunk of your car. Don't just set it off to the side because what's going to happen is you're going to forget what was in there, why you put it in there, and what the next step for that bag is. So always be in the moment. Be present with your decluttering um, process. And as soon as you get a bag full of clutter, tie it shut, put it in your bag. The next time you're out running errands, check your trunk. If you have bags in there, I want you to automatically stop at the drop-off center and put the things in the container. And that way, you know, you took your clutter all the way to done. If you have a bag that you're filling up with trash, sometimes you need two bags. If you have one bag that's trash and one bag with clutter, you're going to do the same exact thing with the trash. When it's full, tie it shut, take it all the way to the trash can, and then make sure you're replacing that trash bag so you can keep this process constantly going until you get your spaces to a level of clutter-free that makes you happy. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Just like that, you have another decluttering tip to add to your arsenal, and you are one step closer to creating a home you love and deserve. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.